Hey guys, welcome. Kat right here. So I'm right in between projects right now and I just got home from a very long, very busy day and I was just like, you know what, I just need a relaxing night. So I'm gonna do some pedicures. Okay, so I'm downstairs in what I call our man cave because this is where we have our projector with a huge screen and um, I usually try to come down here and involve all five senses while I'm doing my pedicures. So I always put on a candle, I usually try to have some meditation music going and like a good fun video on the screen and then just kind of relax. <laughs> the reason we call this a man cave also is this room doesn't have any windows so it definitely makes it kind of a cave. But anyway, so I always set this up. You can see I've got a towel with a little foot soaker. I've got myself a candle here because candles just in any situation make a awesome mood to it. And this is some <clears throat> vanilla and cedar. So definitely gonna smell good and kind of add a cool look to everything. But just to explain a little bit about myself and pedicures is I'm definitely the kind of person that loves yoga, I love doing Wim Hof, I love meditation, and I just really feel like pedicures is a wonderful day, way to relax. It's also a very great thing for me. And honestly, I started doing pedicures on my husband because when we first got married, I mean, nothing against him, but his feet looked kind of crappy. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna take these feet in my hands and I'm gonna treat them and make them look good. So now his feet look really, really awesome. But I think I need to get to painting my toenails here. So Josh is gonna come in here and he's gonna soak right. his feet. Okay, sit down, soak your feet. It's got some Epsom salt in there to help the skin. So I have all these pink colors. Most of my colors are pink. Last week I had this pastel color and now I'm gonna do red. I really like red, it's kind of a bright color. But one thing about pedicures is I've tried to take it upon myself to do pedicures on lots of people and friends and family because they're just very relaxing to do this. But that candle, you can start to smell that yummy smell of that candle. Honestly, I've never been a huge red person. I think I like something a little bit calmer, but just painted my toenails on my right foot all red, and I think I like that. So okay, so Josh just got done soaking. Yeah, I do usually let him soak, and then I'll give him a foot massage and kind of sand him down before then. But you know what? He got that a couple days ago, so he got a soak. So now we just gotta do my other foot. I'm hijacking Kat's okay. video to show you the pooch. Luffy, look at that thing. He just won't stop licking. I think he's part of her pedicure. Maybe this is the secret. Look at him go. That's actually my dog and I think he's the coolest. Okay, continue. This Sorry. little poochie, I'll have to tell you, he is a lickaholic. That guy, you'll sit down, watch a video, he'll just lick you the whole time if you let him. I mean, not always, but oh yeah, this guy likes to lick. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I definitely can smell that candle a lot more now. It smells really awesome. Okay, so I'm done with my second foot here, and honestly, I think I'm just gonna lay back, let this dry, and then let my feet soak. So I just went and got some warm water, and I don't think I showed you before, but I definitely always paint my toenails with these little foam dividers to separate the toes. But now I'm just gonna soak my feet, and I'll just lay back and relax. So I think 
think my feet have been soaking long enough. I don't want to get them too pruney. Normally with a pedicure, I would do the sanding after this and you definitely don't want to miss that. But as I was painting my toenails, I realized they don't really need a sanding. So I have this lotion that I'm going to put it on. It's more than lotion, just kind of a cream because it's oily. So it's really nice for doing long massages, but I'll probably just do myself a massage then go to bed. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.